Hey guys, it's Michelle. Um, I have a little haul that I'm excited to do today. Um, there's some Halloween themed stuff in here and a couple other nice goodies, but I want to start off with this. I went to CVS with my brother to pick up some stuff for the house and I got this. Um, it's just one of those trick-or-treat bags, like they normally have the jack-o'-lanterns and they have the cauldrons as well. I got a cute little cauldron one and it's full of little candies. Have you ever noticed like when you look at the candy bags, there's always that one candy that nobody wants. Like there's like a bunch of like Hershey's and stuff in here and then they have these like random lollipops that Joey and I never eat. But my brother likes them so he's going to get the lollipops. He already requested them. Oddly enough, he doesn't want the chocolate. I digress. But if we got this, it was like 40% off because we are doing a 40% off um, of their Halloween decorations. So this was one of them. So I think I paid like a dollar and change for it. And Desi, you cannot have chocolate. I want to say hi. Come here. Well, not to me. You gotta say hi to the camera. Oh, she's camera shy. Anyway, so that's what I got from CVS was the candy and the cute little cauldron. Because the thing I normally use is a ceramic bowl in the shape of a leaf. And it's absolutely stunning. I love it. Um, I put gourds in it around Thanksgiving. It's just that every year I take it out, I am so scared it's going to get chipped or broken. Because, I mean, it was one of those splurges when I first moved out of my parents' house. Because I moved out at the end of summer. So it was one of those splurges that I had to have in my living room. You know, perfect hostess. And every year I take it out, I'm always afraid that somebody is going to break it. So I was like, forget it. This works fine. Next... We went to Target, and there's some more Halloween-themed stuff here. Um, I have an idea, and I have to wait till... This is going to sound odd. Um, this is going to be for next Halloween. But I have an idea, and I'll show you guys when that happens. But I can only get it around Christmas time, as weird as this sounds. But these guys are going to go into that project, and I think it's going to look really awesome next Halloween. So next Halloween is going to be something really special to look forward to. Anyway, everybody on YouTube has these things, but they really are cool for the money. I got this big candy corn, and like I said, I've come up with a crazy idea that involves these items. And you'll see that in a year from now. But anyway, I got this candy corn that's all glittery and stuff, and Des Desi's afraid of it. She's really scared of this thing. It's okay! It's not gonna kill you! Well, if it, if it was an actual candy corn this big, it probably could kill you, but this won't kill you. I probably, Oh, she's a poor thing scared of it. I'm sorry. And then... Oh my gosh, it's so funny. I know. The candy corn's away now. The second one I got was this purple little glittery owl. I am keeping them in the plastic for as long as I can, because I don't want to deal with the mess of the glitter going everywhere, but I mean, they're adorable. I was just going to display them somewhere in the house, but next year is going to be the really awesome thing. I actually had my brother go out. And I was like, let me know if you find more of these. Call me and um, I'll give you the money for them. Because I need more than two for the idea that I have. But I bought two at the time. So I got the cute owl. That's I think it's purple. I don't I don't know. It's not pink. I, I'm pretty sure it's... It looks purple on camera or blue. But it's cute. That and my little candy corn piece. I thought they were adorable. Next, now Joey treated me to this. I've been looking for this for a long time and I actually gave up on finding them. I really did. Look, they finally had them at my Target. I was stoked. And Joey actually got me two of them. I haven't opened this one. He was like, I know you've been looking for it for so long, so I'm going to treat you. Isn't he sweet? I love him. So these are the Alice in Wonderland themed EOSs. There's Blueberry Potion, Sweet Vanilla Nonsense, and Watermelon Wonderland. And I think they're they're really cool. If you've seen the EOS's before, they have this cute little, like... This one has the Mickey print on them. But what I really thought was adorable is inside the packaging... Look at this. It's like a shadow box. And it's got the Mad Hatter, and the hair, and the little guy, the, the mouse inside the teacup pot. And it says, very few things indeed were really impossible. And when you're done using your lip balms, you can just like displace. I want to put like a little tiny teacup in here and use it as a shadow box. I think that would look really cute. But I thought that was a cute idea. And there's like little Alice's all inside and around the packaging. And these things smell incredible. I haven't used them yet. I just sniffed them. But I'm still using my summer fruit. 
but this is the one I'm going to be using, and the other one, there's doggy boogies on this one, and the other one will be, um, maybe display, I haven't decided what I'm going to do with the second one yet, to be honest, but I'm so, so excited that I got these, and I gotta watch out, because this little one right here eats EOSs, she's eating a summer fruit on me, it's actually in one of my videos, I don't remember which one it was, but she actually ate my, my one EOS, so I have to watch out for you, when it comes to lip glosses, or lip chapsticks, whatever you want to call them. Anyway. And then the last place I went to, guys, Bath and Body Works, not a surprise. I had another one of those free coupon things when you spend $10, so I'll show you. I got two of the candles, two for five, and there's so many great scents like the, the pumpkin latte and stuff like that. A lot of them Joey didn't like, but this one we both agreed was good. And I bought this before in years past. And it's just good to have them in the house because they're so potent. Even for these little guys, they're great. Oh, this is the Fresh Balsam, and I got two of the same. I love it. Simply love the smell. It, it can't be Christmas without having this candle. We have a fake tree because I'm allergic to the real ones, which kind of stinks. Uh, in, in a way, though, it doesn't stink because I don't have to worry about the mess in my carpet either. So I guess it has its good, it's good and it's bad. But every year at Christmas time, I have to start burning these after Thanksgiving. And I have a couple of big ones left over from last year. But um, these ones are probably going in the bedroom or something. I just love the smell. It smells like Christmas. Fresh, awesome is Christmas in my opinion. Next are the pack backs. Now I got three of one kind and two of another but oh, I'm really happy about these okay I'll show you what they look like number one two pink one uh, three pink ones and two gold ones but I love them I really do okay <laughs> first one is the pink diamond one and the main reason why I bought these is because these ones have glitter in them and I remember when they were bigger and they had the glitter and I loved them. And this smells kind of like grapefruit. Ooh. This one reminds me of grapefruit. And I love it so much. I love the packaging. I like, I mean, it's diamonds. What girl doesn't like di Well, we won't go into that. But I think it's very pretty. One of my favorites. I'm probably going to go back and buy more of these as stocking stuffers. I just think something about glitter is Christmas. Because most... Christmas items are covered in glitter. <laughs> anyway, the next one is called Gold Dust. And when my brother saw this one, he was like, like the wrestler. Uh, there was a wrestler, I guess he was really popular in the 80s, and his name was Gold Dust. He's covered in gold paint and stuff. We actually saw him, um, I think three years ago, we treated Joey to wrestling tickets, and we got to meet him, and that was pretty cool. But I'm hoping this doesn't smell like him. This is like a jasmine honey smell. A musky honey jasmine vanilla smell. That's nice though. And this one as well has the glitter in it. I love it because it's got that little shimmer, that little extra shimmer. I'm very happy about that. And then, time to go on to my free item. Oh, they gave me another coupon for spend $10. With any purchase of 10 or more body care items. So. I got the new Cashmere Glow. And this is my free item. And this. It smells really good. Let me see what how it describes the scent. Our exclusive Cashmere Glow. A warm blend of golden peach and shimmering vanilla with a heart of soft cashmere musk inspired by being warmed in luxury, wrapped in luxury. Nice. I like it a lot. I smelled it in the store and I really liked it. The one I don't like is Dark Kiss. Sorry, if you like it, that's cool. I do not like Dark Kiss. This one is really nice, so it's a little musky. I'm not a big musk fan, but it's very light musk. It's not overpowering. If you're not a big musk fan, you'll probably like it. Hmm. It reminds me of something. I don't remember what, though. It'll come to me, and I'll say in another video. But that's just my mini haul, guys. I've been doing mini hauls because I've been keeping up with a lot of things. Um, 
with my new job and stuff like that, so I haven't been able to splurge like I love to do. But, you know, little presents here and there are fine as well. I've been saving up for um, our next vacation trip, so a lot of my money's been going into that as well. And Christmas is around the corner, so I've indeed started Christmas shopping. I know people are like, no, don't talk about that yet. Well, you got to start eventually, and I like starting early. So I will talk to you guys really soon. And that's it for this video. Take care. Bye.